Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprites, welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Professor Layton en de Miracle Mask. We zijn op weg naar de Ledoors, want Henry heeft wat uit te leggen. Hier heb je in ieder geval de moeder van het kindje die we de vorige keer tegenkwamen, want dat kindje was echt een bitch. Eee, where's the dad of mine got to now? Nou, we kwamen er net tegen, ze is gewoon aan het chillen met haar billen. Nu laten we even deze puzzel oplossen. Oh jee, cozy cabins. A family of five is visiting some hillside cabins. There are four cabins available and the prices vary. Cabin A costs $20. Uh, nee, niet, dat is niet waar. 200 pounds, denk ik. Uh, cabin B costs 400 pounds. Cabin C costs 300 pounds. And cabin D costs 600 pounds. Um, the cost is fixed regardless of the number of residents. So they re are restricted only by space. Um, which is the cheapest cabin that the whole family can stay in? If your answer by a give your answer by positioning their sleeping bags inside the cabin to so that they all fit. The sleeping bags may not overlap. We gaan gewoon een beetje proberen. Maar past die niet. Kijk of B past. Die past, alleen dan is er nog ruimte over. Gaan we C proberen. Nou, dat is al zonde, want dat kan niet anders. Dus dan gaan we D nog proberen. Misschien dat D helemaal past. Ja, D pas helemaal. D is het juiste antwoord. How about this? Huh? Let me reconsider that. Reading the tra question. Oké. Okay. Misschien dat ik inderdaad wat gemist heb. Dat kan. Oh, wacht. D kost meer. <laughs> Oeps. Even kijken, want in A passen ze al niet. Dus dan zou C het juiste antwoord moeten zijn, denk ik. Ik heb inderdaad de question niet goed gelezen. Oeps. Oh, maar hier passen ze niet in. Dus dan is B wel het juiste antwoord. Lekker bezig, Leighton. I thought being I'm in a big place like this might be scary to... <laughs> nee, nee. Z jouw dochter is niet scary. Alleen als je al 2724.000 miljoen keer uh, kwijt bent geraakt, is het misschien een idee om op er te letten. Maar ja, wie ben ik? Oeh, hij heeft ook een puzzel. Oh, Emmy, you're uh, re resplendent in loveliness today. <laughs> May I get you something? Tea, toys, uh, the world on a silver, silver platter? Well, since you're asking, uh, you don't happen to know anything about anything about the masked gentleman, do you? I have sadly never laid eyes on the evildoer. Oh, woo. Uh, if, I, uh, if I had but caught a glimpse. Hmm, I suppose you have your uh, your stall to watch over. Well, never mind. Thanks, you. Thanks, though. Wait, don't go. I have something that uh, can help you. Uh, a puzzle, just for you. Puzzly. Ooh, and fits. A fishy triangle. Here's a little paper goldfish. Um, you can make the goldfish into a triangle by cutting carefully along the dots to m make two pieces, uh, then rotating 
the resulting pieces to put them together. Hey, nog een keer. You can make the goldfish into a triangle, okay, by cutting carefully along the dots to make two pieces, okay, then rotating uh, the resulting pieces to put them together, okay, duidelijk. Uh, where should you cut it? Draw lines with the stylus, um, taking care to mark only the places uh, where you should cut, okay. En je zou twee pieces moeten krijgen. Als we het zo doen. Dat is ook niet het antwoord. Laten we een hinweg gebruiken. Are there any parts that will keep you get started? There's a triangular identification in the tail fin of the goldfish. What does it tell you? If only you could cut the goldfish into three, then you could simply cut straight through the fins. If you cut through the fins, you'll end up with three pieces. So that's a non-starter. Uh, you've got to deal with the uh, ident identification in the tail fin. Though try cutting out the shape of the uh, identification somewhere else. Uh, then using that shape to fill in the gap. Did you work out where you need to cut in order to create the shape that will fill in the gap? Find the dot uh, second from the right, third from the top. Uh, D? Yeah. Um, then make a small cut going upwards and to the left. Twee van rechts, drie van boven. Ja, dat is die. Dit kan er niet zijn. Zo? When the cut is paired with the fish side, it makes a triangular point which can fit nicely into the gap of the tail. Ah, oh, okay, wacht. Nee, dan heb je drie pieces. Dat kan sowieso niet. Find the dog second from the right and third from the top. Z 
second from the right and third from the... Dat is al heel erg onlogisch. Ja, maar dat is het probleem. Vind de dot second from the right and third from the top. De derde van boven. Dit is tweede rechts. En dan is dat die. Ja. Then make a small cut going upwards and to the left. Zo so dan. Nee, dit is helemaal niet. Wat staat er in S? After kunnen ze right in 3. Make another small cut going downwards and to the left. Can you see where the where we where you're going with this? You go downwards and to the right. You know what? Fuck this puzzle. Dan flik hem maar op en met je gezicht. We hebben veel te lang aan deze puzzel gezeten. Hey Gloria. So Herschel, will you be sticking around for a bit once uh, this is this whole business is over? Unfortunately, no. I fear my students would miss me if I didn't turn up to my sem seminars. Oh, that's right. It's Professor Herschel now, isn't it? Good for you. After Henry was released from uh, service at the Escott House, he spent a lot of time studying archaeology and Norway. Um, if he hadn't come here and founded Montidor, he could have a career in archaeology. Yes, I remember that Henry enjoyed helping Randall with his research. That masked gentleman knew about the mask. He must have a background in archaeology as well. Add in those investigators from London and uh, suddenly uh, the whole town's obsessed with this subject. Well, archaeology is an uh, enticing field. Dat klopt. Pittig enticing. Angela! How are you proce processing, Herschel? I'm starting to fear that we'll never catch the masked gentleman. If only we could find that mask of order that he spoke of. Perhaps we could stop him. So you think that uh, we can trust anything the masked gentleman says? But the Mask of Order is a genuine artifact that was recorded by Rutledge. You must have heard about it too. I have read about the Mask of Chaos and the Mask of Order exists as a pair. It's possible that uh, one could stop the other. Uh, we know the police aren't going to catch him anytime soon. If we want to save the city, we must find that mask. Uh, I thought Henry must have it among the things he brought back from the ruins. But he claims not to. Perhaps Henry, uh, Henry is hiding something, even from you. Hmm. Angela, where's your pendant? Pendant? Oh, Dad, I lost it. I think the string must have snapped. Uh, it was getting old anyway. Uh, I was thinking of replacing it sometime. I'll see. Well, I suppose this is a good opportunity to do so. I was hoping to speak to Henry. Uh, is he here? Yes, he's in his study. Thank you. Hello, Henry. Professor Layton, how may I help you? Henry, I'd like to ask you a few questions about yesterday's incident. I gave you a full I gave full, a full report to the police. They are now investigating what happened. Yes, well, uh, we have been uh, conducting our own investigation. Uh, we discovered an extra lab replica of Tingley Town just behind the original one. What? Tingley Tower has been uh, fitted with a rotating floor. We turned around last night without realizing it. A pitch uh, dark space like that is perfect for pulling uh, off just such a trick. We're so intent of pursuing the masked gentleman that we walked straight into his il illusion. That's hard to imagine. Besides, nothing gets built in this town without my permission. 
That's what I wanted to, tell, uh, to ask you about. We heard that you recently uh, invested a great deal in various construction projects around the town. It seems an odd decision to pro uh, promote expansion in such uncertain times. Uh, why not wait until this masked gentleman business is over and Montador is safe again? We said this before, Leighton. Uh, I've said this before and I will say it again. I don't need to explain myself to you. The town of Montidor is under my supervision and it will do as I see fit. I understand, Harry. I didn't mean to question your judgment. However, in order to conduct my investigation, I need all information available. Very well, I won't uh, stand in your way. Most officials and businesses uh, in town will co cooperate if you give them my name. But I'm afraid that it's all I can do for you. Uh, I have my own work to do. Of course, thank you, Henry. Now, I must take my leave. Please feel free to look around my study. If you find something useful, you may take it with you. Uh, if you will excuse me. Shall we search in the study then? Uh, there may be information about the past construction or notes on the masked gentleman. Emmy's right, Professor. We should do a thorough search of this room. Wait a moment. I think uh, we've m uh, missed an important point here. Henry is hiding something from us all along. I thought it was uh, to do with the masked gentleman. We may be on the wrong track entirely. What do you mean, Professor? Henry? Is someone there? Ah, guests. Hmm, you look familiar, but I'm sorry, do I know you, young man? Are you? My goodness, what a surprise, I must talk to you. Herschel? Herschel Layton? Is that you? What happened to your hair? Professor? Yes, Emmy and Luke, uh, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Escott, Randall's mother. Oh, er, it's nice to meet you, ma'am. How are you, Mrs. Escott? Uh, it has been a long time. Are you visiting Henry and Angela? Not exactly. It's a long story. Uh, where do I start? After Randall's accident, my husband and I employed uh, all possible means to find him. We hired rescue teams and searched the ruins. Um, had a new passage dug. Um, we spent our entire fortune. And yet, you still didn't find him? I paired us to be at uh, in that big house without Randall. Oh, I paint us. Okay, yeah. So, uh, we left Stansbury and came here with Henry. Uh, when my husband passed away, I had nowhere to go. No, uh, no one to turn to. Henry asked me to stay with him. He took me uh, in and settled my debts. Uh, he said he was making everything ready for Randall's return. Henry never uh, breathed a word about any of that. Does that surprise you? Henry has always been like that. He, is never, he never blows his own trumpet. Uh, if he doesn't feel like something needs to be said, he keeps it for, for himself. It's just his way. Yes, yes, you're quite right. So, Herschel, just be kind to him, won't you? I don't think he's uh, ever fully accepted Randall. I see. Then I shall leave Henry out of the investigation as much as possible. If uh, this masked gentleman knew that Henry was really like, he would not be doing this. If only Randall were alive, he would help Henry. Uh, they were like brothers growing up, you know. This is Randall's too. This city is Randall's too. Yes, Randall would have been tireless hunting down the masked gentleman. Mrs. Asket, is that you? Angela! Oh, I beg your pardon, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, psh, Angela, it's lunchtime then. Uh, yes, um, I thought I would call you before the food uh, got cold. Uh, I didn't mean to barge in. No, no, that's alright, we're just about to leave anyway. Already? I'm sure Henry will be back soon. Oh, no, my business with Henry is done. Uh, we have another, we have other matters to attend to. Very well, Herschel. Good luck. I hope you manage to find the ma uh, Mask of Order soon. Uh, it's the only way that Montidor can be saved. I will do my best. 
En ik wil mijn best doen om deze aflevering te beëindigen. Ik wil jullie bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je dit nou een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Ik zie jullie later de volgende keer. Adios amigos!